Dear friends, welcome to RPA Tutorials. In this video, we will cover the Audit Trail section of the new Automation Anywhere web based control room. At the time this video was created, the latest version of Automation Anywhere control room is 10.5. The Audit Trail section of the control room helps administrators monitor user activities in control room. It also provides view into task execution progress. Audit Trail section will be visible to all users whose roles have been granted permissions to access the same. Organizations can utilize the data provided by this section to enforce internal compliance regulations. This section also helps prevent tampering of mission critical processes and, or scripts stored in the server repository. Though it provides you with important data, but it does not track anything and everything. Let us first have a look at what it tracks. Any user activity in the control room like logging into and out of the control room, running and scheduling tasks. Adding, deleting, modifying roles. Adding, deleting, modifying users. Adding, deleting, modifying credentials etc. On the client machine, its tracking capabilities are limited. It can track logging details of bot creator and bot runner users. And, if the bot creator downloads and, or uploads any task on server repository, for the tasks deployed through control room, it generates deployment and execution status of the tasks. Let us now look at the limitations of the audit trail feature of control room. It does not track any user activity apart from the ones mentioned on the left side of the screen. That means any user activity on the Automation Anywhere client application does not get tracked. When task executes on the client machine, it does not track any changes made by task locally on the client like creating a file saving an image, opening a browser etc. It also does not track any kind of transactional activities performed by the task bot on a third-party application like SAP, for example, invoices processed, orders created etc. Control also does not allow restricting activity details showed in the audit trail by roles and corresponding repository permission structure. That means as a manager of one line of business, I will be able to see audit information of users of all lines of businesses. Let us now look at audit trail section of the control room. The data it displays is paged by weeks. You can view previous weeks data by clicking on previous week link at top of the table. Click on the column headers to sort the data in ascending or descending order. Click on drop down next to the header to select sort options and choose data filters, if any. We have filtered on the run task activity. As detailed earlier, it displays deployment status of a task and whether the task executed completely or not. In case of an error in deployment, it shows task could not be deployed and sets the status of activity to failed. You can also export this list to a .csv file for further analysis. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on RPA and Automation Anywhere tutorials. Feel free to comment on the video below or email us for any suggestions, feedback or questions.